What's going on, y'all? This be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV-based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday, and I intend on doing the exact same. What's going on, y'all? Now, before we get into today's mess, let's talk about what we got coming up on the platform. Now, tonight is the night for the season premiere of the Whether You Like It or Not Season 6 RHOP Edition panel, and it stars Scotty, Terrence, Sakina, Really B, and Yacrates, and it features Josiah's World TV, as well as guest appearances appearances from Busy Blue, Schoolboy, and pop-up guest appearances from Ill Teddy 27 Official, as well as Reggie, all right? Also, tune in on Wednesday for the Chasing Panel. It stars Scotty, Jamar, Terrence, Tramiel, Carl, and Jeremy. We will be talking about the brand new episode of Chasing Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And then on Friday, be sure to tune in for the sixth episode of Boys Night Out. Jamar and myself would not be in attendance on this week's episode of Boys Night Out. However, Josiah, Maddie, and Terrence will be carrying the show alongside a guest or two. So make sure you guys tune in for mm -hmm. that. So with that being said, that's pretty much all that we have for the church announcements mm -hmm. right now. So let's go ahead and get into the mess. As we know, BravoCon was going on all weekend, and now we have a lot of content to, dis to discuss. Mm -hmm. And now we got to talk about Miss Quad, honey. Miss Quad, honey. She got it or she lost it, whichever one. Now, now, she was asked on the red carpet about critics saying that Dr. G's new wife deserves to be on the show because she's actually married to medicine and Quad isn't married to medicine anymore. So she needs to leave and find her a chiropractor. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get into what Miss Quad had to say when she was asked about this at BravoCon. And then we're going to come back and y'all going to hear my opinion on what was said. Let's get into Miss Quad, honey. A part like the, the cast member. Well, I don't have anything against her. You know, I mean, this is a young lady who feels that she's found love, and and if that is the case, then she should be happy within that. So I have absolutely nothing uh, against her. Yeah. Um, I think when people saw Heaven and I, we had a, a little conversation, mm -hmm. and I think that that little clip went viral. Uh, my thing was, I felt that production probably should have had a conversation with me saying to her that I have been here since the conception of the show to kind of let me know that they were considering bringing my ex-husband on, given the nature of our, our previous marriage. So yeah. you feel like they kind of blindsided you a little bit? I, I feel like I was owed a little bit more respect than that. Yeah. 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 So how is that going to play out through the season? Do you feel like the producers were kind of in the bag trying to push a, like a narrative? Well, well, it, well, it's season 10. You know, I mean, come on. this is it's, it, You need something big. Yeah. Yeah. And if I'm putting on my business hat, then I can see why that decision was made. If yeah. I'm wearing a business hat, not yeah. a personal hat, not a like a, not a person right. hat, but a business hat. Right. Yeah. Now, what would you say to people who say it's fair for her to be on because technically she is married to medicine? Well, there's a number of ways to be married to medicine. You don't always have to jump on or sit on someone's penis <laughs> to be married to medicine. <laughs> a part like the, the cast member. That was Miss Quad, honey. She got it. All right. <laughs> That was Miss Cry, honey. She got it. All right. So um, this is what I got to say about this. You know, Quad's whole thing is that she feels as though um, the production team of Married to Medi Medicine should have had um, should have had more things. You know, they should have just basically talked to her about this before they brought Miss Sweet Tea on the cast. And she probably would have been able to make a decision. But like I said, like, and shout out to all about the tea for the picture, okay? Because I don't want nobody, you know, giving me no bullshit. Because I ain't see that watermark. Shout out to all about the tea for that. Because I didn't even see that. But, um, yeah. I just feel like when it come down to quad, I don't know what she expected. I'm really not sure what the she expected, to be quite honest. Like, at the end of it all, girl, you're on the show and the same show that you're on your ex-best friend pitched that same show and she got kicked off of it so what make you think that she was going to get any special treatment about being talked to about dr g and his wife coming back on this show like you said it's season 10 they're trying to bring this season in with the bang married to medicine to me and i'm gonna say to me because people love to try to tussle when you say something about married to medicine and married to medicine even bravo's biggest show but that's another story but to me married to medicine hasn't been good since season seven 
like when they brought Anila on, it just wasn't good to me. And I really wasn't feeling Anila being on that damn show. And I think that's partially why I didn't watch it because Anila was on there and I just wasn't feeling her. But at the end of it all, though, um, they don't owe you anything. They're not going to tell you nothing. They are producers and they're looking to have a good show. And if they feel like there's a possibility that this woman can bring some drama for you and all this other shit because they bring in Phaedra to bring the Phaedra fans over. And then they feel like, oh, if we bring Dr. G and his wife on this show, baby, the drama. Just think about it from a production standpoint. They got to bring people on the show that they feel is going to bring something to the table. And, you know, I don't know what she going to bring to the table. I am reviewing the show this season, child. And she's, I don't know, you know, I, the jury is still out. The jury is definitely still out. So I don't know. But I don't know what Quad expected. Like, like I said before, if they didn't give Mariah no damn grace, what the f*** make you think they're going to give your ass some grace? I'm just saying. And you did not give a f*** about them kicking Mariah off the show, so you should not give a f*** about them bringing somebody to get your goat. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So with that being said, y'all, this be your boy, Scotty, okay? Let's get into some things before we go. Now, make sure you guys support our very own Tramiel. He's a part of the Chasing panel. He has a brand new single out called Long Days. It's available everywhere. Um, make sure you guys purchase it and stream. And also, Bando has a brand new single out called Bando's Dream. It's now available on Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube. So with that being said, y'all, this will be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, and also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. And if you want to follow me on any form of social media, the Twitter, the Instagram, and the TikTok will be down below in the description box. With that being said, y'all, your boys up out here until my next video. I will holler at you guys a little bit later.